Okay, I am so frustrated. I had been collecting product empties bottles for months because it takes a long time to get through some stuff. So anyways, I had this bag of empty bottles and stuff like that so I could make a video and I totally threw it away. So I started recollecting. Should I mention the ones that I threw away? Okay, the first thing I threw away was a Revlon Photo Ready uh, foundation and for sure love it. One of my very, 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 very favorite foundations. I already bought two replacements. Um, another thing was my Simple face moisturizer and I cannot find it anywhere at Target it only has the gel moisturizer and the cream and I cannot find just the regular moisturizer if anybody knows where to find it um, what else was in there let me think while I show you guys what's in this box now this is the L'Oreal advanced hair care total repair extreme conditioner and I usually have like four or five different kinds of shampoo and conditioner in my shower and I just rotate um, and this has become one of the steady rotations like I always have these like I already have a new one in my shower I love how it makes my hair feel I feel like it conditions it really well without making it feel heavy and I have pretty damaged dry coarse hair and I feel like it makes it feel really good Another all-time favorite, um, but also a not-so-favorite, is the 3 Minute Miracle Moist by Aussie. And I always get this one, um, and it's just the regular one. Um, but last time I was at Walmart, I want to say, they had a whole bunch of different ones. So I was like, oh, I've never seen um, other ones except for the original. So I picked up the 3 Minute Miracle Smooth 24-Hour Frizz Control in 3 Minutes. Um, this one I don't like as much as this one. I, if I were you, I would stick with the original. It, to me, it works a lot better. Um, so I would not repurchase this one. Already repurchased this one. And I love that these come in like two packs now at Target. So I always buy these and they're super cheap. I want to say they're like $3. Best leave-in conditioner ever. And so cheap. Um, another thing that I used up, and this is another thing that I almost always have in my bathroom, is the Neutrogena Body Clear Body Spray. And this is for any sort of breakout you get on your body, whether it's on your chest, your back, your shoulders. Um, it's in spray form. It has a 360 spray, so you can turn it upside down and like spray it on your back if you need. Um, I've been having a hard time finding this as well. Um, I used to get it at Target and I have not been able to find it in a long time. Where did I end up finding one? I think I found it at Ulta. Um, so I don't know if it's just not available at like Walmart and drugstores and stuff like that, but I already got a replacement for this. I always have one of these in my cabinet in case I have some sort of breakout. And my husband's been using it too because when he works out a lot or does karate a lot, once in a while he'll get a little breakout here and there and um, he just sprays it on and it helps with that. This is a sample size but this is a moisturizer I've been using since high school and this is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I know they have a gel version and then they have another version too. I like the original the best doesn't break me out, moisturizes my dry skin. Um, I almost always have one of the big ones of these as well, but I ran out of this and the simple one at the same time and I was like, what do I put on my face? So anyways, this has been a long time favorite of mine. And then the last thing is the Michael Todd Jojoba Charcoal Facial Scrub. And I got these in one of my beauty subscription boxes. I want to say I got it in an Ipsy box, but I'm not 100% sure. I just kept this in my shower and I would use it as a facial scrub. I like it. I think it worked very well um, at exfoliating. It wasn't too abrasive. Um, makes Made my skin feel soft. I don't know if I would buy this because I think Michael Todd stuff is pretty expensive. So anyways, those are the containers that I still had. If you like these empties videos, please let me know and I will continue to collect my trash. Anyways, that is my empties video. Hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, 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 and I also was thinking of different, I don't know what you call them, like segments or types of videos that I wanted to make and I've been kind of jotting down ideas. If you have any suggestions or ideas or types of videos you like um, the best for me to do, please let me know so I kind of have an idea of like what I should do more of, what maybe I should do less of, maybe what I should try doing more. I'm going to try to do more fitness kind of updates, more to keep myself accountable, but um, 
yeah so anyways let me know in the comments below what you like to see what you might like to see in the future and i will talk to you guys later bye